And in this way, the cops are having a f field day. Big Brother blesses the thought police with the ideal pretext to make, for no good reason, searches of private homes and cars. Big Brother mines the telephone data of the entire population, wallows in confidential Facebook and computer files and smartphones files. They even like, if you fly into the States these days, like grab your smartphone and see if you, you know, what you're looking at. The thought police wreak havoc like a plague of locusts on the privacy and peace of the common earth people. But the nation lords were not satisfied with this persecution. So they conjure up even more bizarre drug laws to get their dirty paws on the property of the earth people. And thereafter, it's open season on any hippies with a few marijuana plants behind the barn. Yeah, the cops, huh? Compensate uh, in the name of drug seizures. Vehicles. Those come in real handy <laughs> for them. Uh, whole businesses, jewelry, safety deposit boxes. Uh, I mean, if you can claim it, they will rip it up. And then make you prove um, you are not guilty? Uh, police sweeping through the common populace in a terrorizing tsunami of family splittering, split them up, split up the families, weaken them down, dumb them down, subjugation. You know, it was the same trick uh, in the Spanish Inquisition. I mean, the real pit in the pendulum deal there um, was the imprisonment and theft and torture uh, to rip off the property of the so-called <laughs> disbelievers of Christianity according to how they set the game up. Not for any moral or health concern. The whole power game on this drug scam is a threat and an excuse to rip off, like in the Spanish Inquisition, private property. Hello. Uh, simply to trump up nonsensical, flimsy charges with a jealous, greedy eye to extort free-thinking earth people for all they, they are worth. I mean, and, and for the cops, it's no big deal to round up the iced-out amphetamine uh, and uh, especially um, the Oxycontin synthetic morphine addicts, uh, especially because they're unconscious and dying on the floor. Such easy pickings, um, there's almost no fun at all anymore. Uh, because being addicted and out of focus, these junkies leave tracks everywhere. Rather, it is the spiritually aware men of, uh, marijuana and entheogenic psychedelic users who spiritually frighten the establishment and for good reason. 